this week's episode of the SMS Weekly Digest. The Mouth of South. We're your anchors, Aiden and Aubrey. Got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh. What's your name? Miss Cook. What do you teach? I teach ELA, so reading and writing for 8th grade. And where are you located? I'm located in room 808. What is your dream car? My dream car, I love SUVs, um, so I would probably say a lifted Jeep. Do you have any hidden talents? I do not have any hidden talents. I would say I guess I'm not a very talented person. Um, the only thing that I was really good at in high school was cheerleading, so that's why I'm a cheer coach. So, What would your perfect party look like? Perfect party would probably be a lot of food. my friends and family. So. Look And now, the weekly Pagooder. Hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwich. Slobby dough, slap, slobby dough. Slobby dough, slap, slobby dough. Come on. Slobby dough, slap, slobby dough. You die. Slobby dough. Let's see a brand new student attending South Middle School. There's a new What's your name? All right. What grade are you in? I'm in the seventh grade. Okay. Uh, where'd you come from? I came from uh, Carthage. Carthage. How are you liking South so far? Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. It's pretty fun. Um, if you had any superpower, what would it be? I'd be invisible, you know what I'm saying? Just so no one can see. It'd be kind of cool. Now to Mr. Mitchell with the Principal's Minute. Welcome to another episode of this Principal's Minute. What is your preference about giving 100%? Well, you know, I tell you, we talk a lot in, you know, in, in athletics about giving 100%, giving your all. But, you know, it, it's not just about from the time the whistle blows until it blows to, to end the game. It's about giving 100% all the time. You know, if you're not taking advantage of the time that you've got in the classroom or in relationships with your family and friends and the people that you interact with, then you're missing something. You know, if you play hard through a game, if you play hard through practice, you can expect to reap the rewards of that. And those are, you win, you get starting positions, you get moved up, you get people clapping for you because you're working hard. In life, if you work hard, you're going to get an education, you're going to get promotions, you're going to get, you're going to get good stuff by giving 100%. You're going to have good interactions with people and it's, it's going to be a positive. So I encourage you as you go out this week, you know, Take the opportunity to give 100% on your work, on your studies, on your effort in class, on your work and studies at home, taking care of business at home. Do those things that you need to do and, uh, and give 100%. Let's go talk about some fine arts. Working on the strong self-esteem skits. Uh, it takes us usually two weeks to uh, put this production together. Uh, it moves very quickly. We have uh, almost all new kids in stage crew and almost all new kids in actors, so they're having to absorb an awful lot of information in a short time. Uh, we'll be doing five different dances and skits on October the 10th, I believe it is. Uh, for the school and it's all about uh, feeling good about yourself and uh, speaking out and taking care of yourself and just having strong self-esteem and good friends. Uh, if you watch the skits and you're interested in joining us for the fall production, tryouts for that will be probably the third week of October with rehearsals going all the way through November and the first week of December. 
The dance we are practicing is for the strong self-esteem skits. It is the beginning dance. Um, we are doing it to multiple different songs combined, and it will start the skits, which I am very excited for all of you to see. Um, at Stage Crew, we build sets, decorate the stage, we paint, and we tear down things to make new things. We, during the plays, we move the scenery around in between scenes where the curtains are shut. And some, there's a curtain person who closes the curtain, and there's also someone who has to prompt the people behind backstage if they get their lines wrong. A lot of times, most of the time, we're painting the sets and repainting the sets. Because from the last plays, they have all different colors. So we need to have them for different colors for this play. And we stay after school till 5.30 at the latest, almost every night before a production, so that we can build the sets and paint the sets and practice moving the sets on and off of the stage. Let's hear some advice from Mr. Stats' intriguing words of wisdom. Hello again, everyone. This week's words of wisdom are, dare to be different. It doesn't hurt to be who you are, so be yourself. Thanks, and have a great day. Mean moment. Send your memes to eleadersms at gmail.com for your chance to win a cool surprise. Now, let's go to the counselor's corner with Miss Narrow. You need to learn how to advocate for yourself during your school years. You need to learn how to ask help and you need to learn how to actually receive help in order to make your life that much better when you're out of school. And if you get good friends, then they can help you with your schoolwork and homework. And you also have parents that can help you in their free time. And you have teachers. If you just ask teachers to help you, if you don't understand something, they will help you. And so will your counselor. That's me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tried to choke me. <laughs> so, thank you. Always very helpful for the counselor. Can you just stay here and just stay on my couch? I'll have to ask all my teachers. Okay, I appreciate it. Sometimes the counselor needs help too. Okay, so thank you for your opinion, and bye! Bye! See you next week! See ya! I need to tell you guys a secret. Miss Nero and I are running out of ideas for Counselor's Corner. So, I thought maybe you could help us. So, all you have to do is email me at eLeadersSMS at gmail.com or Email me at cvevelyn.stew, S-T-U, at joplinschools.org. I hear someone. Bye! Let's go see a random question from the hallway.
would rather watch a movie because uh, it has visual. You can watch it and it has visual pictures. Uh, I'd absolutely rather read the book because it's going to be better. But time constraints take you to the movie. Um, I'd rather watch a movie because it's a lot more entertaining. I would rather watch a movie because I like to see visual images of people. I'd rather read the books because it has more description. I would rather read books because um, they're more original and the authors, they go into more detail than some movies might and the movies change a little bit. Now we go to the most interesting man in the world in his natural habitat. He is the most interesting man in the world. Greetings, my friends. You know who's the world's most interesting man. I am interested in both literature and history. And I recently became aware of a fact I had not realized before. Did you know that Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have the same middle name? Stay healthy, my friends. Let's learn a crazy cool fact this week with Captain Random. Did you know that Coca-Cola would be green if it didn't have dyes in it? Nobody found the mustache this week because our editor forgot to put it in. But we did get submissions. So if you have been seeing mustaches, please call 1-800-FAKE-NUMBER and please consult with one of our associates. Let's see some selfies from the awesome people of South Middle School. And now, the selfie second. To be a part of the Selfie Second, go ahead and hashtag pictures of you and your friends turning it up to hashtag SMS Selfie Second on Instagram or email them to us at eleadersgmail.com. Let's go invade the Bell Music News. <laughs> Welcome to Bell Music News. My name's Ryan. Oh, I'm Adam. And uh, this week was a great week for Bell Music. Um, so the theme this week was... <laughs> British Invasion. But no one would probably get... ...guess that, because no one really did. No one actually won. Thanks, Mr. Walkup. Yeah. So we picked uh, a loser at random. Not a real loser, though. Just someone who lost the competition. And so the winner would be... Delaney, please don't hit us for calling you a loser. Delaney Glover. And who won? I can't say. But we're going to their class right now. I know, but... We have to wait. What? What do you mean? It's Foxwell's class. This Foxwell's class is down the hall where it says Foxwell. Nice. I never forget a face, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Thank you. Hey. There. Yeah. Foxwell's class. Wait, we need her. Wait, are you Delaney Glover? Yeah. Go ahead. So how do you feel about winning Bell Music News? I feel amazing. Well, that's great, and I get your face and, like, your feelings. Well, that's great. Submit again. <laughs> Our pro. Let's see one of our wonderful clubs at South Middle School. Hello there. I didn't even see you. I was busy reading. Everybody should be reading on Tuesdays on during Deer Day. I mean, there's such a variety of books out there to read. 
Speaking of variety, we have this club on Wednesdays after school called Variety Club. If you like to do all kinds of different things, you should come to Variety Club because every week we do something different. We love to have fun. It's run by Miss Foxwell and myself, Miss Rohner. So if you uh, are in the hallways, you can see our big sign shaped like a V that tell you all the fun different activities we do in Variety Club. So we would love to see you there. Bring your friends. Let's go see some beautiful art with the Art Atomic. Let's see some of our coaches and their sports. So I am interviewing here um, a runner from the Joplin cross country team. What is cross country? Um, it's where you work on like your speed and endurance for running long distance, your core muscles, and your arm muscles. If I was going to a cross country meet, how would I cheer on my favorite runner? Um, probably by like, staying near the finish line, or maybe like, yeah, just near the finish line, and tell them like to keep going because and to speed up a little bit. When is the next time we can come out and support Joplin Eagles? This coming Saturday, you can come here and watch us run. Tuesday, October 7th, 7th grade football A and B are playing at Carthage. Tuesday, October 2nd, Pittsburgh Invitational for cross country. Tuesday, October 2nd, Carthage is playing again 7th and 8th grade. A is at 5.30 and B is right after in the two gyms. Thursday, October 4th, 8th grade football A and B are also taking on Carthage and that's at home as well. 
Thursday, October 4th, Ozark is playing against home in its 7th and 8th grade, A is at 5.30, and B is after in the two gyms. If you would like to see more projects done by the e-leaders, check out our website at eleaders.sms.wigsite.com slash eleaders. Don't forget, you can be a part of the SMS Weekly Digest. Just submit your clips or pictures to eleadersms at gmail.com. Thank you, and we hope you have a great weekend. Oh. Mm -hmm.